Good morning. So today we're gonna pull the engine out of the metro. Now I was on nights last night, so you can probably tell by my face, but nothing like a new project to get you up in the morning. So I was gonna do it in the garage, but it is a banging day and I also forgot to bring the keys, so the steering lock's on. So we'll do it out here, you know, get back to the old days, uh, whip the engine out, make way for the rotary. Well, not really because obviously the engine's going in the back now. But we've got to get rid of this one anyway, so that's today's job. Alright, so we have checked it up, put it on axle stands, and also took the bonnet off, took the wheels off. Cannot get over how small these brakes are. Like or even the size of my hand. Definitely gonna need bigger ones then when we've got 600 horsepower in the boot. So radiators come off as well and it's pretty much give us decent access to the engine. There's not that much to do. We have to take some water hoses off the gear linkage. And there's one fuel pipe down the back. Um, wires is obviously starter motor, earth strap. And then we're pretty much down to taking the engine mounts off. But knowing my luck, it will probably be seized to death. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever it gets close to 25 in the UK, all I can hear is the cider in the fridge calling my name. So don't know how long we're gonna to last today. And the answer to that question is about 10 minutes. All right, we're back at it. And this is why I don't drink, because now we are a week behind. But I've run out of ciders, so it's sunny today, but it ain't gonna stop us getting engine out. So what I did this morning, came down a little bit earlier and got a bit pissed off with all the suspension being seized so just chopped the drive shafts out the exhaust just cut that off and then one pipe fell off so that weren't even attached and then we've got stuff like the clutch cable that's been took off all the engine mounts they're unbolted so it should be ready just to crane it out now the problem is, the crane is in the garage here. So it's in front of that Mercedes, which means I'm gonna to have to go out the front door, all the way around the garage and come from there. And it's not the best thing to push. So I will see you in about two hours. Well, I've had better walks in the countryside, but that is the engine crane round. Uh, we're going for the you old know, ratchet strap, just for a bit of extra spice. Now, should be plenty, obviously these A-series don't weigh out. So I think everything's good to go. So we'll just pump it up, pull it out and see if it moves. out so it weren't too bad a job i'd left two things connected which to be fair specific to older cars speedo drive which that normally comes from the gearbox and the choked cable i think it was other than that we're all good so now obviously we've made room for activities but this is all going to be fuel tank activities because the engine will be going in there now talking of engines bought one at weekend now not my first choice but it is a spicy unit so I'll leave your guesses in the comments below and then I think it's turning up next week uh, two lads two mates of mine bringing it down so next week I'll do a video and I'll show you what we're planning to put on it so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time